The title of the article I'm sharing with you today is No Matter Who You Marry, You'll Regret It. Smart women know when to let go. Let's listen together. There's no perfect person, and there's no perfect marriage. After marriage, have you ever regretted it? If you ask 100 people this question, 99 of them will tell you yes. Regardless of how deep the feelings are, and regardless of the hardships overcome to achieve the final outcome, once you enter into marriage, thoughts of marrying the wrong person will inevitably arise. Some people experience this during pregnancy, and for some, even before their honeymoon ends, they're already contemplating divorce. The reasons for these thoughts are varied snoring, not doing housework, spending money extravagantly. The most ridiculous reason I've heard is wanting to eat the cake from the husband's company downstairs and repeatedly reminding him to bring one home, only for him to forget. Before marriage, we often idealize it, imagining it to be like a fairy tale where the prince and princess live happily ever after. However, we forget that no fairy tale describes the challenges of married life in detail because it's far from being a dream. When two people are together for a long time, the novelty and passion fade away and they become unwilling to maintain the facade of perfection. When they reveal their true selves, conflicts arise. If there truly comes a day when two people can live together comfortably in a small house without constantly clashing, it means that they've both compromised and worked hard to understand each other. Any seemingly perfect marriage is achieved through painful compromises and concessions, through constant adjustments and practice. A marriage built on mutual tolerance can endure. Entering into marriage and forming a family means living under the same roof for 50 or 60 years. Even in ordinary conversations, there will inevitably be clashes. At this point, mutual tolerance becomes crucial. Before marriage, couples focus on each other's strengths, but after marriage, they have to live with each other's flaws. If they can't learn to be tolerant and instead hold on to every little thing, it'll lead to constant quarrels, even if the love is deep. In the novel Please Reply 1988, Deshawn's mother often complained that her husband was not considerate, only thinking about himself. She envied the family upstairs because the father was attentive to his wife, even picking out fish bones for her. However, when she complained to the mother of the family, she said how good it would be if her husband wasn't always at home, like a shadow following her everywhere. On another occasion, when they went to a noodle shop, she saw a man at the next table affectionately arranging his wife's hair while her own husband, oblivious, walked ahead with an umbrella in the rain. These incidents made her feel dissatisfied with her own husband, thinking she had married the wrong person. Many marriages are like this umbrella beautiful on the outside but a mess when closed. As Mo Yan said, never envy others' lives because perhaps we're short-sighted, often overlooking the happiness around us. The grass is always greener on the other side, but what we envy may be something others are trying to get rid of. While we envy others, others may be envying us. Less comparison, more contentment. Instead of demanding what we can't get, cherish what we already have. That's the secret to a happy marriage. Lu Zhen Yu once told a story. Before he turned 30, he was very resistant to marriage because he thought it was like comparing goods at a market, where two strangers measure each other's appearance figure, economic strength, and potential for development, finally settling on one as a lifelong companion. This kind of marriage seemed boring to him until he met an old man by the sea who changed his perspective. The old man, recovering from a serious illness, said, At my age, do you think marriage is still about wealth? For me, it means when I wake up at 3 a.m., thirsty and in pain, just beside my bed, my wife knows I need water. Having someone who knows your needs understands you and, and supports you at all times. That's the greatest benefit of marriage. Ultimately, in every marriage, what people seek is someone who can immediately get up and pour them a glass of water when they're in need, even though this glass of water comes at a high price and requires decades of nurturing. If marriage is compared to a transaction, then the only win-win exchange is genuine love and understanding you empathize with me, I cherish you, and we support each other along the way. Even if there are arguments and thoughts of parting ways, 
after the anger subsides, we still choose to hold each other's hands and continue forward. Wrong ones part ways, right ones find their way. Since any choice in marriage seems to be wrong, then let's embrace our mistakes and walk through this long life together. That's all for this article. I hope you find new insights every day, opening up beautiful new chapters. Here, you'll never be alone.